Today is Wednesday, the 5th of December, and it's midweek through the second week of the high-level session of COP18 in Doha. Uh, various high-level roundtables have been going on in discussions. Uh, the negotiating text has gone to the ministers. A few selected ministers by the Qatar presidency have been asked to mediate uh, some of the still stuck negotiating text. We're still waiting for the loss and damage and in particular the finance uh, to be sorted out. Various countries have been announcing various amounts of money uh, for the 2013 onwards uh, financial commitments but they simply don't add up to very much yet. Remains to be seen <clears throat> if that will happen. I'm going to report now on a very a uh, happy event uh, for the first time uh, since the beginning of the least developed countries group with which I've been working for many years. The group has pre-selected before the end of the COP, before the end of the tenure of the existing um, chair, the next chair. Uh, this was done some time ago. Uh, the current chair, Paus Manjarju from the Gambia, is going to hand over at the end of this COP from the beginning of January to Nepal. But the good thing is that Nepal had selected their uh, incoming chair some time ago. He has attended several sessions now. He's been attending the entire COP along with uh, the current chair being inducted. And this afternoon, uh, there was for the first time a handing over ceremony from the previous chair to the next chair with the ministers of the Gambia and, the ne and Nepal present and all the LDC group and many of the supporting organizations that have supported the LDCs for many years, including IIED, CDKN, LRI, Oxfam, CAN, and many others. It was a very nice occasion. Uh, <clears throat> we gave a gift to Paus Manjarju. He was very emotional on the occasion. Uh, he certainly made a great difference to the group, and we're expecting Nepal to do the same. Uh, a suggestion came from the floor that the group uh, invite Paus Manjarju to become a uh, a special envoy for the group, uh, not uh, remain as chair, but have this uh, designation and have requested the government of, the, of Gambia uh, to consider appointing him as such. At the same time, uh, the group also <coughs> considered whether or not it's time for them uh, to have a female chair, and the thinking has started about uh, identifying and then potentially appointing a female chair at the end of the term of the current a chair from Nepal, Mr. Prakash Matema. In the evening, the incoming chair, Nepal, gave a reception for all the LDCs, so it was a very nice occasion for everybody to uh, celebrate uh, this handing over.